I'm Andy Cohen. News 5 has uncovered the documents at the heart of an electioneering scandal in the town of Monument. The town council voted Tuesday night to launch an investigation into the alleged misuse of taxpayer dollars. That special board meeting was highly emotional. A new board will be sworn in next month and some of the current board members ran and lost against candidates who were part of the Home Rule Charter Commission which is now under investigation and the financial records we uncovered show an even closer connection to that incoming board. Town administrators released a dozen pages of financial records to News 5 in response to our request made under the Colorado Open Records Act. They show definitively that the town paid Tri Lakes Printing $2,592.50 for 4,000 of these door hangers and 125 of these yard signs, which urged voters to say yes to the Home Rule Charter question. State law prohibits public money from being spent on political campaigns for ballot questions. The town of Monument's money is the taxpayer's money. That is called electioneering and it is illegal. Anytime you spend the public's money, it doesn't matter what it's spent on. If it's not spent correctly and if there's misappropriation of funds, then we have to look into that because we have to figure out how do we prevent this from happening in the future. Additional records show the town paid the law firm Hoffman, Parker, Wilson and Carberry more than $11,000 for its work advising the Home Rule committee. That total includes the check to the printer and about $800 paid to the Gazette to publish official notice of public meetings. The law firm employs the current town attorney, Catherine Sellers, who was absent from the special meeting Tuesday night. The records also include an email sent by incoming town council member, Senna Abbott, who forwarded the invoice from the printer to the town manager for payment. You are awful, awful human beings. During the public comment part of the meeting last night, board members were loudly criticized, and much of that criticism came from Steve King, who served on the Home Rule Commission and is one of the incoming council members. If you had any ethics, you would have stepped down when your term expired on November 8th. If you had any ethics, you would go out gracefully instead of burning down the town on your way out. He claimed multiple times that the Colorado Secretary of State's office is investigating the issue. I think that there is alternatives for an investigation and the Secretary of State has opened up one already. But at least two board members told me they were unaware of that development. I question that because I had not heard of it. The other board members had not heard of it, nor have the, has the town manager heard of it. And so we're not aware of a Secretary of State investigation taking place. Uh, somebody mentioned the Secretary of State was involved. When I contacted them, they told me uh, no, uh, no complaints. Not aware. You're unaware of that? Not aware. All right. So nothing you can disclose? Well, nothing that I know. Oh, nothing that you if, know. If I, if I knew, <laughs> then I could tell you no comment. But I... I don't know. And in fact, a spokesperson from the Secretary of State's office explained to me today that as a home rule municipality, the town is responsible for handling its own campaign finance violations and complaints that the secretary does not have jurisdiction. I don't have confirmation of that. I got this second hand from somebody who talked to the town clerk and the town, town clerk said that it was mandatory that it had to be that it had to go through the secretary of state. Mayor elect Mitch Lakine said he supports the investigation, but he questioned the rush to hire an outside attorney. I'm concerned about the process. And the reason why I'm not concerned about the funds any longer is because the town has been made whole. Another amended campaign finance disclosure that was just filed on Monday states that that previous in-kind donation by the town has since been transferred to a woman named Brandy Turner. I asked Mr. King after the meeting whether he shared Mr. Lakine's commitment to investigating the issue. Would you be committing to having this investigation when you're sworn in? Absolutely, but when it comes to spending $20,000, you know, that kind of changes the game. And the board also postponed a vote to hire former Secretary of State Scott Gessler as an independent investigator for this matter. Some board members criticized Scott Gessler for allegedly violating the same campaign finance law. I spoke with Mr. Gessler on Wednesday. He said he didn't know what he was being accused of at the meeting, but said during his years in office, quote, I became accustomed to petty ad hominem attacks, and that's what this sounds like. Andy Cohen, News 5.